Hey guys, Blindmanger here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. On the last episode, we did our final preparations and made our way to Hargon's castle. This doesn't look right. Bow wow wow. An item shop? Well, there's nothing we need there. An inn! Just what we needed. Welcome to Laurasia Castle. Laurasia? This isn't Laurasia, this is Hargon's castle. Oh, is that you, Prince Joshua? Welcome back. They know me. What? This is Laurasia Castle. You come to vanquish the great priest Hargon? Is that what you said? Do you have to defeat a good person like Hargon? Oh, how terrible. Ah, Hargon, you're so beautiful. Hey, you cannot walk here. I will not allow such a thing. P please forget what I said. Don't waste your time on a woman not of your stature. That barely even made any sense. The dragon's bane can protect your body from the magic of monsters, but there's a small chance that you can be lulled to sleep. However, if Hargon ends up ruling the world, you won't have to worry about it. Wahaha! Heaven has sent us a savior, and it is the great priest Hargon. Oh, Joshua, let us pray together. May the gods' protection come to the great priest Hargon. May the benevolent gods be the allies of benevolent people. You will certainly become happier if you believe in Hargon with your heart. A person who enters a traveler's gate will instantly be transported to a far off place. However, that is an old rumor. There's no need to leave the castle anymore. Well, it actually works. Or does it? How curious. I heard a rumor that said that Moonbrook Castle was attacked by Hargon's army. I didn't hear the whole story, but in truth, it was just a mere fire. Alright, well, there's gotta be something good in these treasure boxes here. Nothing. Nothing again. Nothing. 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 What a waste of time. Thanks to Hargon, we are able to enjoy our date leisurely. I hear that it's Hargon's dream to work so that the people of the world can be happy. Please contribute to this country's well-being. Ah, it's Joshua. You are free to enter the royal treasure room and take the treasures. The king of Laurasia is relieved that this country has helped him to become an ally of Hargon. Yeah, this place is just all screwed up. Hurrah, Hargon! Something very wrong here. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't know or think that anyone would come to defeat the great priest Hargon. I hear that the king is happy in becoming an ally of Hargon. If you really want to meet Hargon Joshua, please, by all means, talk to the king. I am Mariella. I was recruited by the king to replace a previous cabinet minister. Life is too peaceful. I was hired by the royal family to liven up the mood. Indeed, my dancing is heavenly, don't you think? Don't tell me that you like that old cabinet minister more than me. Hmm. King, can't I have another drink? Come now, King, I feel like having a drink. Ah. Oh, King, you're so handsome. Come now, let's have a drink together. Wahaha! 
Joshua, so you have returned. I was worried that you have misunderstood Hargon. But there's actually nothing to worry about with him. He's a wonderful person. I'm finally one of his allies. Wahaha! I hope you find what you're searching for. I think it's ridiculous that you have to fight. Well, obviously this is Hargon's illusion that we were warned about. So we'll just go ahead and use Rubus's charm. A beautiful voice is heard out of nowhere. Joshua, do not be deceived. These are all illusions. Come now, open your eyes widely and look with true discernment. And the illusion is lifted. As well as... We apparently only thought we rested well at the end. So, we need to actually heal up. Alright, now, we're not going to bother talking to any of these fires because some of them are battles and I don't feel like fighting them. So let's cast Step Guard. There should be a door. Cast Step Guard again. Now there are true two treasure chests in this entire place. The Demon's Tail, which is an another cursed item. Um, throw away one of the uh, Devil's Armors. Keep it just for the sake of completion. Cast Step Guard again. And the other treasure is over this way. Now, in the NES version, I believe these boxes are both empty. Another Devil's Armor, but we don't need it. Cast Step Guard again. Cast Step Guard again! Stand in the center of this cross and use... Uh-oh. Well, it looks like I need to cut. Because I put the evil statue in storage. And I need it. So, see you guys in a minute when I get back to the spot with the statue. And we're back. So, like I said, stand in the middle of this cross. And use the uh, statue of evil. And you'll be transported to the real first floor of the tower. Now, there's no treasures here, so just concentrate on going up the tower. And in case you guys were thinking that this game has a serious lack of bosses, you're in luck. Because all of the game's bosses are held within this single tower. Yikes. That's not something I want to get involved with there. Anyways, it's just a short, short trip around. I would suggest running from all enemies, because some of the boss fights can be pretty difficult. In my opinion, the first one and the third one are the most difficult. And we are coming up on the first boss fight right now. Atlas! Now, in the NES version, he seems to pick a person and just wail on them. So if you can keep whoever that person is alive, you shouldn't have any worries. Now, increase would definitely be beneficial here, as would decrease. And it looks like for me, he decided to pick Rolando. So we will defend with him and have our princess heal him. But apparently they changed his uh, attack patterns in this version of the game. So that trick will no longer work. However, he still goes down pretty quick. Actually, even quicker with the uh, increase in defense uh, strategy. Heal up and head up to the next floor. I 
I guess they changed the layout of here in this version. Here's the second boss, Bazuzu. Use the same strategy as before, except have Rolando attack this time, because I don't think this guy actually uses physical attacks. He should go down really quick. I know in the NES version he'll try casting Defeat. And that is the second boss down. Go up the stairs and get ready for the third and most powerful of Hargon's bodyguards. Veliar. I think his name is something like Zalox or something like that in the NES version. I can't remember. Even though I just played through this. But anyways, same strategy here. Except be aware that this guy hits a lot harder. And I think he can actually attack twice per round. And he can cast Explode it like all Arch uh, Demons or whatever they're called can. Don't be afraid to uh, turtle up though by using power shields. You can just make sure you don't die. You should be all right. But like I said, this guy is definitely harder than the rest of them. And he can heal himself. I forgot about that. Which is kind of a pain. But just keep up the strategy and eventually you'll get him. Sure is being a pain with his cures. I hope I don't have to use it the rest of this video just on this one guy. Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Alright. Now we'll heal up real quick. Now, at this point, you can go back and heal up and come back and I'm not sure if they come back in the Game Boy Color and Super Nintendo versions but I believe all the Guardians will come back in the NES version only if you turn off the power after defeating them. But anyways, when you're ready go up to the next floor cast Step Guard again and here we are Hargon's throne. <sighs> Tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion of Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.